What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with a team sent in by one of you guys, Sir Nugget. Thank you so much for dropping your team. Guys, if you want me to play your rental teams, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Leave me a list of the Pokemon. Tell me whether it's a doubles or singles. And if you have the EV Shred, send that in as well. Today's team sent in by Sir Nugget consists of all three Alolan starters, which is pretty hype considering we haven't used the Situi or Primarina on the rank ladder. So if you are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. If you guys aren't subscribed, like what are you guys doing? I'm probably already in your feed. Just click that subscribe button and make it easier for you. In the front spot right here, we have this weakness policy Lapras with the ability Water Absorb. I'm hoping it's a G-Max Lapras, considering G-Max Lapras, I think, is the best new G-Max in the game. It is so strong, considering it can just set an Aurora Veil, turn one or whatever it want, wants to. It just drops a Max Hailstorm and gives you a free Aurora Veil setup, which is huge. It has Protect, Thunderbolt, for Coverage Roof, Hydro Pump, and Blizzard for Stab. We have this Decidueye. Next up, with Life Orb right here, it's going to be able to hit... Big with Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Protect, Spirit Shackle, and Leaf Blade. We also have this Incineroar right here. Fake Out. This is like a normal Incineroar setup or move setup. It is very, very strong with Fake Out, Parting Shot, Darkest Slayer, and Flare Blitz for Stab. We have the Intimidate so we can go in there, drop some physical attack, Fake Out, and then Parting Shot out to drop either physical or special attack and pivot out and be able to do that all over again. Then we have Primarina over here who's a great special attacker with that Citrus Berry with Protect. Perish Song, we could set a Perish Song, which could be awesome. It could work out well, or we can maybe screw ourselves over. But I think if we are going to use it, it's going to work out well. We have Sparkling Aria and Moonblast for Stab as well. In the final two spots, we have this Gothitelle, who's going to be like a nice little setup Pokemon with Fake Out, Ally Switch, and Psychic. Then the Hydreigon for a nice big special attacker with those choice effects with Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Dark Pulse, and Draco Meteor for Stab. He has a very well coverage moveset, so he's going to be able to do some big damage all around. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, what GMAX Pokemon do you guys think should be legal next? I don't think Gengar is legal yet, so I think maybe Gengar would be dope, considering everybody loves him and he's just such a cool Pokemon. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Alolan team. Bound number one on its way, we see a little bit of double G-Max Lapras potentially, and a double Incineroar. He has the, the Defiant Pasimian, so I really don't want to leave my Incineroar here. Who should I go with? Who should I go with? I think we need to go to for that fake out. If Alice switches well, I could go with Decidueye. In case he leads the Lapras, but he could lead that Incineroar, which is rather scary. Which he probably is going to. So I should go into a special attacker and just go into the Primarina. Or you know what? Let's go here. Let's withdraw the Gothitelle. Let's go Lapras as it has Water Absorb. And then we could go into a bum bum bum. Decidueye in the back end, show off the two new starters. And Hydrogon? I think Hydrogon's call. And we'll keep Incineroar out of this batch, considering he has that Defiant Pasimian. I really don't want to mess with it. I'm kind of over it. I'm over these competitive Milotics, Defiant Braviarius, Defiant Pasimians. But they're going to be showing up a lot as Incineroar is going to be prevalent in the meta now. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below, g 25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. I know my voice is still killing all raspy and all that, but I'm feeling a little bit better. It's just my voice trying to get over it. Before the new release of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon comes out, I'm hyped for that. So I hope you guys are hyped as well. I was probably going to go for a follow me. Nice sparkling aria, so it goes around everybody, which is like nice. So I can still hit that Incineroar. Still hit that Incineroar, so let's use it. It will not do any damage to my Lapras as we are water absorbed. And I could just throw a Hydro Pump. Or I can get that Aurora Veil set up. Perhaps. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this Aurora Veil set up. I'm going to this uh, Fable. I'm going to this Fable with it. G Max Residence right here. We can get this free Aurora Veil set up, which is type nice. And then just get rolling from there. I'm thinking he's going to go for a fake out. Hopefully, it's on my Lapras. That would be awesome if it's on my Lapras. Because he has to be going for a fake out. But he's, he's probably thinking maybe my Lapras is going to go for Max. Well, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Fake out all my Lapras. Fake out all my Lapras, my dude. Fake out. No! Not on my Primarina. Get out of my face, dude. The follow me obviously comes out. I should have just Max Geyser. But it wouldn't even matter. Wouldn't even matter. We get this, uh, this Aurora Bell set up. Which is chilling. Doom, doom, da doom, doom. Do a little bit of damage here. This Lapras isn't meant to do a lot of damage. It's meant to kind of just set up that Aurora Bell. Hopefully someone triggers that weakness policy and then we can do some bigger damage. 
Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. We have the sparkling Aria. We're gonna send it once again. And then roll into a Max Geyser to actually set this, uh... To set the rain. Because he has two Fire Pokemon. He has that Drought Mon, which kind of, uh, with the Torkoal. Which I don't think he brought. I really don't think he brought it. Let's see what he does from here. I think he's gonna Parting Shot. Eventually. Or this turn. I hope he hits me. Like, come after me, my dude. Or does he have Snarl? If he has Snarl, that's tough. That is tough if he has Snarl. Because Snarl is such a good move. Especially up against these two special attackers. Look at my girl. Shiny Primarina. Get it. Let's get it. He's going to withdraw. That's totally fine. He's going to go into the... Ba -ba 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 Sylveon. Okay, that's, that's totally fine. Sylveon pops out here. We are Water Absorb on our Lapras. So we can actually heal up our Lapras whenever we want. And this still does damage to both of the opponent's Pokemon. Then we go into a Max Geyser over on the Sylveon side. Which is not bad. Let's see it. Let's see it. Not, not too much damage as this thing's a big tank. Just an absolute tank. We set the rain. We set the rain, which is type nice. We're going to be able to do some bigger damage here. It's, this thing's going to drop an Icy Wind just to drop our speed. Only does one damage to my Lapras, which is kind of funny. Drops our speed. We're already kind of slower than these mons, so... I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Let's go into this again. And another water move here. I'm just going to double into this. You see a potential follow me coming out here. Let's see. Yep, here's the follow me. And there goes our uh, D-Max turns. We kind of didn't really do too, too much, but we did get the Roar Bell set up, which is huge. And it's still that's going to drop a Yawn here. We are getting drowsy. We are going to heal up our Lapras for that 1 HP. That's chilling. That's chilling. That's what's so nice about having Water Absorb and this move, the Primarina. Bigger damage here. And we are going to take out the Fable here, which is pretty, pretty solid, which is pretty solid. But geez, you see how much HP this thing has? 474 HP. That's pushing 500. We get a crit. We didn't even need it. Um, how should I roll out now? How should I roll out now? I think he's going to drop. If he has the Torkoal, it's going to come out now. That's going to be a fact. If he has the Torkoal, it is coming out now. Is it the Torkoal? I don't think it is. No way. It is. Yo, get out of here. Get out of here, my dude. He sets the drought, which is solid on his end. That is so big on his end. We only have water. We, we're just rocking water moves here. Um, bump, bump. How should we go with this? I could, just, I could set a parasol. I could set a parasol. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna set a parasol and take out both these Pokemon. And I'm gonna protect my ear. We're gonna play this one slow. We're gonna set a nice little parasol and try to take out both these Pokemon. Cause you know the eruption's coming. I mean, that's a fact. See, Protect comes out from the Torkoal. I think Parasong still hits through all this. And what are you going into? A Hyper Voice comes through. We blocking. So she's going to hit my Primarina. My Primarina should be chilling. Should be able to eat up just fine, just like that. Get a crit, dude. Get out of here, dude. Get out of my face. We eat a nice little Citrus Berry. And we can set this little Parasong so everybody will go down here. Which I'm not worried about. If I can get this Torkoal out the way and this Sylveon, we still have two Pokemon in the back with our uh, Decidueye and our Hydreigon. Water Absorb does not affect Lapras. Oh, that makes Parasong not affect it? Primarina? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, that's sick. That is pretty sick. Hmm. So all I kind of want to do is keep this Lapras alive. Now I'm going to protect with the Primarina. And I'm going to go into a... Uh, bu -bu -bum. I'm just going to a Blizzard. Potentially try to get some freezes out here. See what he does from here. He just cancels the battle. Let's go. GG. That is how you do it in battle number one. We got to show off this team. Battle number two on its way. We're going to lead to the Sidueye and the Incineroar here as I feel like it's going to be pretty strong here. We're going up against the Trick Room team. We have two more slots left. Who should we go with? It's either Primarina or Lapras and then Hydreigon. So let me just pick this Hydreigon right now. Choice Spec Boy right here. Choice Spec Lapras and Primarina. Lapris and or Primarina. Um... I think Primarina could be pretty solid as it has that fairy typing. Yeah. Yeah, let's go Primarina. Actually, no, I want to go Lapras. I want to go Lapras. reason I am saying that is because it has Sparkling Aria, and which hits all of our Pokemon. So that kind of only really rates well if you're pairing it up with the Lapras. I really want to use the water move. So I'd rather just go into the Lapras of our own. And it has Weakness Posse. And we can G-Max it if we want. That's pretty solid. But let's go. I'm trying to show off the Decidueye in this match. It has Life Orb. It can hit very, very strong. Get it very, very strong. Oh, he made that last guy quit, which was actually kind of funny. He goes Incineroar into Decidueye. Um, how should I play this? Definitely Leaf Blade into the Rotom. 
Definitely Leaf Blade into the Rotom. And then Intimidate Pops. Um, if he D-Maxes that, uh, that extra drill, he can just one-tap me up, which is kind of scary. I'm going to... Do I fake out? I Because he's probably going to D-Max, right? I might just hard swap. Or you know what? I'm going to just throw a nice little parting shot here. Actually, no. I'm going to fake out over on you. And then go into a Leaf Blade over on... The Rotom's going to protect. I'm going to parting shot. I, I am going to parting shot. I'm going to protect that... The, that uh, the Rotom protects here. And so I'm not going to double into it. I'm just going to throw one Leaf Blade into it. Let's see. He's going to withdraw the Rotom. Okay, that's totally fine. He's going to go into a... Bum, 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 bum. Giggle him. Oh, baby. Give it to me. It's still big damage. But he's going to set the sa Sandstream. You got to be taking out my boy. You got to be taking out my Incineroar. This is for a rock side. Watch. He's going to like get the double kill or something along these lines. No, he doesn't. But he's going to flinch my mom. It's just a fact. Leaf Blade comes through. Yes. Let's go. Look at this damage. Look at that. Look at that. On a beast of a Gigalith right there. On a beast of a gig Gigalith right there. We trigger his weakness policy. That's totally fine. He's a rather slow Pokemon. I know my next mod can come out here and take it out. Parting shot comes out here. We're going to drop these things. Physical attack once again, which is huge. Which is huge. So I could have went for the fake out. I could have went for the fake out. I thought he was going to go into a Max Quake onto my Incineroar. In all honesty. Uh, I'm just going to the Hydreigon here. Um, so who did we... He threw out that last turn. He had the Rotom. He had the Rotom. Oh, who do I really want to go into here? I think Lapras could be pretty solid. Let's go Lapras. Let's go Lapras here. So yeah, we're going to get this Lapras out here. I think I D-Max my boy. But D-Max my, Deci my Decidueye? Could just D max my Decidueye. The only thing out speed us is going to be that uh that what's it called? I'm gonna drop a blizzard. I'm gonna say blizzard takes out the Actually I don't think the blizzard's gonna take out that Giggle. And I really just wanna go let's okay. We're not gonna D Max. We're not gonna D Max that. I think I might just uh I mean he still has his D Max. I gotta play this one a little slower. Definitely leaf play this. What did I just do? What did I send with my Lapras? What did I send with my Lapras? It was a blizzard, right? It was a blizzard. Okay, that's totally fine. I should have went to a leaf plate over there. Okay, we're gonna leaf plate and he's gonna show his fourth and final mod. This is chilling. Okay, two kiss. That's not bad. We'll get a blizzard off on that. Leaf plate comes through. Yeah, you yeah, baby. Do a little bit of damage. Still not very effective on that thing and doing that much. Situation is a monster. Blizzard flies through. Who's it missing? Who did miss? Hit the Tokus. Does it hit the Togi? No, of course it doesn't hit the Togi. Freeze. Oh! Oh! Big freeze, baby. Let's get it. Nice little freeze. I can leaf blade up on that. And I might G-Max. I think I'm going to G-Max uh, Resonance here. I think that's the play call. If we, if we get this Aurora Veil set up, that is huge. Look at that little frozen Rotom. Let's go for it. G-Max Resonance. We can... Get that uh, Aurora Bell set up, and then we go into a nice big Leaf Blade over on this Rotom. I think my decision I should be able to outspeed the Tokus, but I think the Tokus are going to get the D-Max, or he's saving it for his uh, extra drill later on. But look how sick this shiny Decidueye looks. Looking dope. It's looking dope. You D-Maxing? What's going on here? I know I'm D-Maxing. I don't think he's D-Maxing, because both his Pokemon are faster than my uh, Lapras, and that animation would have went out first. So let's go. Let's get it, baby. Feeling good. Feeling good. Bam, bam. Doop, doop. That freeze. I'm actually hyped to stream later because I'm starting to feel a little bit better so I can go for longer streams. So that's going to be pretty dope. Leaf Blade pops through. This might KO. Yes, sir. The CGY coming up big, dude. He's hitting like a truck. I think he's hitting like an absolute truck. Big damage comes out there. Um, we're going to be able to... He's going to yawn us, but I think he's dead. I'm actually totally fine with him yawning us. Actually, he's probably surviving this because Lapras isn't... Gonna hit too too hard. Let's see. Yeah, see, it survives it, but we get the roar bell set up, and then we know we outspeed that thing. And we know we outspeed it. Lovely. Nice little roar bell. Nice little aurora bell. Aurora bell, yeah. Who's he gonna go into? Oh, does Buffett's take out? Oh! So close. So close there. Um bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Jeans is going for two and now. Jeans is going to get 2 and 0. Yeah, 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 yeah. He goes back into that. Do I swap? Um, I think I'm going to Geyser. 
I am going to geyser over on you, my dude. I'm gonna protect my decidui. I feel like you're coming after my decidui, my dude. Leave him alone, he's just a poor bird. He's not even considered a flying bird. It's ghost and grass type. Attack comes out, mwah, flap my wings, throw a little shield up there. It looks like he's wearing a hoodie. It looks like he has like these things on his, uh, in the front of him, which is pretty dope. That's a green pops here. Oh my God, we eat up all day. We're gonna be able to change up this weather as well. Lapras eats up all day. And then here comes the nice little Max Geyser. Get him. This might bring him down. He's not, is he sashed? He is sashed, okay. He is sashed, but we got the rain going. No more sand stream. That's kind of what I was uh, wanting to do, is to protect, take out that sand stream, and then I think my decision why I can outspeed here. Let's type nice. And there goes my uh, Lapras. My Lapras goes to sleep. That's totally fine. Who do I take out? I'll throw another Max Geyser. Um, I'm gonna take out the... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna take out the... I'm taking out the extra drill, because he still has the... The Gigalith who can set the sand stream, and that's an extra shot for him, because he'll get the speed boost. But looking pretty well, I believe this Gigalith's in the red, and all these Pokemon are legit on like 1 HP. <laughs> Tokus is on, I think, 2. It's looking like a 2 HP mod. He's gonna withdraw, dude, he's crazy, this dude's crazy. This is what he does. He withdraws to try to get off an extra shot, which he will. Rather smart. Changes the weather once again. And he's going to take out my Decidueye. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Iron Head pops out. Can we eat? Sad face. <laughs> Decidueye goes down, but he did a great job, dude. Dominating in this match. I get my Intimidate boy out here. Drop some special or some physical attack. And just go from there. Let's go. Intimidate. We still have our Figure Berry. We still have our Choice Spec Hydreigon in the back. This match is in the bag, dude. Dominating, dude. Let's go, dude. The Lolan starters are sick. The Lolan team, dude. Eliminate popping. There you go. Take that little attack drop. Tenor's too good. He's too good. He's an absolute beast. There goes our G Max. I wonder if he's gonna die Max. I'm surprised he has not yet. I don't know if he thinks it's worth it or not. Have a little hydro pump. And then go into. I'm gonna just go into. Actually, fake out gives us first turn priority. I'm gonna take out the extra drill. I'm gonna take out this extra drill. He withdraws that, goes back into the Togekiss. That's totally fine, that is totally fine. We'll be able to get off this free fake out. <gasps> you hunk of junk, dude, you hunk of junk. Do me dirty. Wake up, wake up, Lapras. Gets that fake out, blocked. Lapras wakes out, take out that Togekiss, please. Yes, sir, okay, Togekiss is gonna go down here. There's one, I'm surprised he hasn't quit this battle yet. I think he's going for the greatest comeback of all time. Because if he would have pulled this off, that would that it would just be insane. I would have to stop playing Pokemon forever. It would just be like, alright, I have to wrap up my controller, retire, and never play this game again. And now he goes to the Gigalith. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, dude, just quit. This match is over, my dude. I don't think I'm going to Hydro Pump. I think I'm just going to Blizzard. Blizzard. And then go into a nice little Darkest Larry over so I can double into this. This Kegelith in case the Blizzard does not take it out. Bam, bam, bam. Now he's D Max and get out of here, my dude. Stop it. Dude, I'm so hyped for Mystery Dungeon. I was watching videos on it yesterday. I was like, man, dude, that is my favorite Mystery Dungeon game, too. Oh, he goes with that Gigala. He maxes the Gigala. But yeah, that's my favorite Mystery Dungeon. The OG original is so much fun. It is crazy, like, the amount of stuff you can do in there. Just so much to do. It's awesome. I cannot wait. I legit cannot wait. Dark Slayer pops. Boop. Oh, that Oma sticks him out. This Blizzard has to come up clutch. Blizzard does double connects and ends us that match. We go 2-0 so far. Now we can hop to a third and final match and try to go 3-0 with this squad. I'm hoping we can. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. We've been playing very good with this team. It's just it's just fun to use all these new Pokemon. So let's get it. Let's hop into our third battle. Third and final battle on its way. If you guys are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Alolan Squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who's hanging out and who watches the videos all the way through. So we are sitting 2 0 with this team, hoping to go 3 0. Um, I don't think I'm gonna lead my Incineroar as he has that Defiant Pissimian. That could be a huge counter to me, and that could basically just lose me in a match. I'm gonna go Gotha Tell here. Have a nice little fake out and an ally switch as well. Um, bum bum. Decidueye? Uh, I think I saved Decidueye for the back end. Because he might go into that channel. 
So I'm gonna go Primarina. Primarina, Hydreigon, and Decidueye for this match. Let's get rolling here. Come on, baby. What you want, Alex? What you want? Not using any of the new Pokemon, Alex. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. My trainer card's already so much better than his. Look at my dude. My dude's handsome. He's handsome. He's long. Tan. Mwah. Handsome. <laughs> Little SpongeBob reference there. But he does go Passimian into the Windscott. Going for that Tailwind. And he was looking for that Defiant boost. But I'm like, no. You're not getting that, my dude. You're not getting that, my dude. Primarina Shiny comes in here. Which is nice. Which type nice. Um, we're going to go for a Fake Out. Turn one. On this Passimian. And then go for a Moon Blast over on the Passimian. We're just going to double into the Passimian here. Hopefully it doesn't Dynamax. I can definitely see it Dynamaxing. Maybe, maybe not. And drop in a Max Knuckle to try to start boosting it itself. Oh, no, he doesn't. That's type nice. That is good for us. Let's get it. Tailwind sets up. That's fine. He's not going to move this turn. He's going to flinch. And then the Moon Blast is going to fly out here, which is type nice. Because how much damage are we doing? Not bad. Let's get it. Piece of damage there. Um, I'm thinking of going like this now. I'm thinking of going for a nice little ally switch. Throwing him off and then throwing another Moon Blast into the Pissimian to take him out. Let's go, baby. What you want? Ally switch, baby. Ally switch is one of those moves where it's just like, it's so much fun to use. It's so much fun to use. Moon Blast comes flying through. Yeah, hit my Primarina with that. Hit my Primarina with that. She'll eat it up all day, baby. Seed Bomb comes through. Yeah! That's what I thought. You're not taking out my Primarina. Now we can say bye-bye to the Pissimian. Clutch ally switch there. Night night. Boop. Bye-bye. Gone. Gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's gone. I haven't said that in a while. I haven't said that in a while. I've been sick. It's been hurting my throat to say that. But we pulled that one out for you guys. For you guys. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so glad I'm starting to feel better, dude. So glad. Thank you guys for bearing with my sickness. I hope you guys still did enjoy the content. It goes to Sylvie. The little Sylveon. Sylveon. And I can actually rock out into a, a Paris song this. Could Paris. Just like in the first match. Now I'm just throwing another Moon Blast. I'm going to take off this one's called Sash. I'm going to go for a Psychic over on Sylveon. I actually might want to switch in a little bit. I might switch out my Gothitelle. Helping hand into a Hyper Voice. This could be big damage. Could be scary. Here it goes. Meh. We eat. We eat, though. We chillin'. Here goes my Citrus Berry from my Goldilocks Primarina here. She looks dope, Shiny. Big fan. And I love the starfish on the side of her head. This looks dope. Oh, this thing is Third Spray. It's gonna boost the special attack. And that is probably gonna be the D-Max Pokemon. That is probably gonna be the D-Max Pokemon, guys. Gotta be it. Moon Blast flies through. Um, do I Parasong this? Oh, that's some big damage. That is some big damage, Primarina. Stop it. We got a little bit of leftovers action on the Gothitelle. Gives us a little bit of health. I really want a Parasong, but I can take out this Wimmiscott. Yeah, we're going to go that. And I'm going to go Protect. No, I'm going to go Ally Switch. I'm going to Ally Switch this one. Because I think he's going to D-Max with that third spike plus one. He does not. So Ally Switch was a waste. Ally Switch was a big waste. So Gothitelle is going to go down here. She just went for the Protect. Gothitelle is going to go down here. I think my Primarina can survive this. Actually, probably not. It's plus one. Yes, Primarina! Yes, let's go. Primarina does end up surviving on EHP. He's able to take out this one, Scott. Bye, Whimsy Poo. Bye, Whimsy Poo. He's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him going. He's gone. Tailwind Peter's out, and he cannot set up another one. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. We have Flash Cannon. I want to go with this Sidgewise. Sidgewise is my Dynamax Pokemon of choice in this match. And it's a T Tart. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We doubling into you. Get it, baby. Get it. My decision wise should be the fastest. Maybe not faster than Sylveon, but definitely faster than Tito. We can potentially do some work on it. Let's get it. Let's go. D Max, Max Overgrowth. Get on that. And I'm going to just throw a Moon Blast. If we can land it, we can land it. But I think Sylveon is going to take us out with the Hyper Voice. Fan and Nan Nan. Um, it's looking like it's coming down to a very close match. Depends how much damage my uh, my decision I can do. I think it can potentially one tap this thing. We'll see. But he had that has to be his Dynamax spot, unless he goes Sylveon. If he doesn't Dynamax, it for sure will one tap in it. But if he does, we may or may not. We have 308 HP. 
chilling here. Come on, baby. Fingers crossed. Let's go 3-0 here. Let's go 3-0. I would love it. I would love it. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, let's go. He does get max the T-Tar. Totally fine. Totally fine. Is he going for a max of the cards? We go for a max of the cards. Not too worried about this stuff because I have that Hydrogama Flash Cannon. We do outspeed. Everybody. Let's go. Drop that thing. Drop it. Put him out. Tell him to go home. Big damage, but not enough. Not enough. We have to survive one turn. We have to survive one turn. That's a fact. We get the grassy terrain, though. Which will kind of... It will neglect the sandstorm damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going he's gonna to dump on me. Hyper voice comes through. Takes out Primarina. Oh, man. Oh, no. He goes for the darkness. No, please. Oh, no. This game is definitely over. Unless my flash cannon can take out the... The what's it called? Well, I don't even know. They're, they're both, like, super effective to me. Jeez, man. So close. I knew it was going to come down to a close little battle here. But GG to this guy. Only way I can win this one is if my Hydrogon one taps to Sylveon with a flash cannon. It's the only way. One tap Sylveon with a flash cannon. And then finishes that T-Tar off with a flash cannon. Which maybe it could. It's not stab. That's the, that's the bad part. But it is choice spec. And super effective to move. Let's go. We have to take out Sylveon first. That's a fact. But Sylveon will one tap me with their hyper voice. Plus one. Stab. So it's like, bruh, you gotta go. How'd you got? It should go first, yeah. How'd you got out speed? Flash can't fly through. Dump it. Bruh, you can't be serious. That thing's on one. That thing is on one. That is on one. Are you kidding me? And he gets a crit, dude. I don't know what would have happened there. I think maybe he still would have won, but still, I just would would have loved to see what would have happened there. But two and one, not bad. Great team. Loved it. What are the odds that Sylveon survives on 1 HP? That is ridiculous. Come on, my man. But not bad. We went 2-1 and one with this team. Sir Nugget, thank you so much for dropping your team. Guys, I'm going to say this again. If you want me to play your team, leave me in the comment section down below. Leave me a list of Pokemon. Tell me whether it's doubles or singles. And if you have the EV spread, send that in as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.